Hey guys, here's today's subject I want to just discuss a little bit. What's better, traditional martial arts or MMA? I personally believe that they both work. Now here's the reason why. A lot of it is just about dedication and hard work. I don't believe for one second that traditional martial arts like Kung Fu, Wing Chun, did never worked and survived hundreds of years. I've been studying traditional martial arts for since I can remember. I'm 35 and I started my first style of fighting was Puklon Jimindi when I was learning Kung Fu. And then as time went on within my 21 years of history, I started in MMA schools as well, learn grappling and boxing techniques. So here's the thing. I know traditional martial arts is picked on a lot, but here's the problem I think people don't quite understand with traditional martial arts. Today, and a lot of traditional martial arts, especially karate, taekwondo, they do the point sparring, which is to me not sparring at all. In my personal opinion, if you're doing any type of self-defense, you should be doing semi-contact sparring at all times. Because here's the reason why. The, when it comes to the traditional martial arts or even mixed martial arts, sparring is key. That's how you get better. And with a lot of these traditional schools, they don't do this full contact sparring, so a person that is learning the techniques doesn't know how to engage the technique and actually use it because they're not put into an actual situation through sparring to learn how to use it. When you, It is very different when you got somebody just standing there giving you a one punch and then you do your technique and self-defense on them that you were taught to do, which you learn how to do that combination, but that's all you know how to do. If you change it up and actually get into a sparring, you've got a live moving target and somebody actually attacking you, then it's a very different situation. And that's how you get better at any type of style of fighting. Same thing with MMA. People are getting in the ring and actually fighting. So they're getting better at their techniques because they... No, if they get popped in the face pretty good, they're going to change up their way of fighting so they don't get hit anymore. And also, too, you have different fighting systems that was meant for sport competition. If you take that out of that area and try to use it for self-defense, it's not going to work right because it was not made for that. Like I had a good friend that was a boxer. He t told me straight up that boxing was not a self-defense system. Now, don't get me wrong. I am not saying that a person who knows boxing cannot defend themselves. I have seen it many times in the ring. They get into a ring with a traditional martial artist and even with an MMA fighter, and they can hold their own. So don't misquote what I'm saying. But the same thing goes a lot of your traditional martial arts was not meant for sport competition. It was made strictly for self-defense to kill or main your opponent in a live situation. So when you take a system like that and try to go into the ring, it's not going to work. So this is why I teach my students to learn as much as you can. Because even though you have, you can learn different traditional systems that was made only for self-defense, and then you learn some other things that were only made for sport competition, you can actually combine the two and learn different moves that will work in each area and make your own system of fighting. So really at the end of the day, it's not about what's, is better traditional martial arts or mixed martial arts. It's the, about how you train and how effective you train and what the style of fighting was used for and what it was meant to be.
Remember, if you like this video, please like and subscribe to this channel. And if you have any questions, leave in the description. Thank you.